So hi everyone, welcome back for another video on Star Trek Fleet Command. Now, in this video, we're going to look at dailies, okay? Dailies, the things that you should be doing on an everyday basis, okay? Now, you will get more items on your dailies list based on how friendly you are towards a particular, you know, factions, okay? So your Federation, Klingon, and Romulan to, to choose from, okay? And you can choose to be friendly with all of them, one of them, two of them, or none of them. Can you actually do it, none of them? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so, okay? No, no, I've not tried that, okay? Now, so the basic idea is this, that, you know, the more factions that you get friendly with, the more things that you can choose to do, okay? And you can look at the list of dailies here, okay? You click on it, and then you'll be able to see a list of things to do on a daily basis. Now, these are good, okay? Because if you were to complete them, okay, you'll be rewarded with stuff, okay? Even though they are not a lot, but if you accumulate them, on a daily basis, steadily, right, you'll be able to get a lot of stuff from it. Now, this is actually not bad because 3 hours speed up, 11 of them, that is like a 33 hours of speed up, okay? You can use it for your buildings, for whatever not, okay? Now, then the researchers as well, okay? The, the payouts are not bad. So, 11 there and then 40 here. Now, I believe the payouts are depending or you know, it, it all depends on your ops level and your reputation towards affection as well, okay? So, you have that and then the list goes on. If you fulfill all these, you'll be getting more and more stuff, okay? Now, then we come to this, okay, whereby you see the faction logo there, okay? So, these are faction-based events or goals, okay? So, these actually are helpful towards your, you know, your, your credits, building okay and your reputation as well okay now if you are able to do this you'll be able you're you are actually given like you know the points for the faction where you know the repair speed ups the credits and then of course you know there is like you know uh you get one you get minus on another two okay so yes these are that and they are actually not very hard okay and then you have the mining one so for what i've read if you grew 500 positive points into a particular faction, this will start to appear, okay? And what you are required to mine, for example, the Federation Miner, the Romulan Miner, why these are at, you know, 3-star, why these are at 4-star, it is because of how many uh, reputations you have towards that particular faction, okay? So Romulan is much lesser than, you know, Federation, so that is why, you know, I I only need to, like, you know, mine grade 4 gas for Federation and only grade 3 ores for Romulan, okay? Now, the list goes on. So, now, if you are able to, you know, balance the three factions out, you know, positive on Federation, positive on Klingon, positive on Romulan, you get a whole list of things to do and they will actually help with your maintenance part of the game as in with the things that you are doing here you'll be able to complete you know certain milestones certain quantum on a daily basis for example you're hunting out there ship got you know uh hit you know you need repair so this would be a very good place or source whereby you have you know those repair speed ups you have those extra stuff you know to to push you to help you to achieve those particular goals okay now the most important part of it or i believe would be those milestones up here so there are only five milestones so far and each milestones they give different stuff okay resources for one recruit tokens another and if you have watched my previous videos, in one of it, I actually highlighted that, you know, you are able to get peace shields from here. Peace shields are things that you can use to protect your your bases from your base from being raided, okay? So, for example, the second one will give you a four hour. And if you were to complete them all for a particular day, okay, you get a total of 24 hours worth of peace shield. So, there's no reason... Yes, there's no reason for you to be raided like until your resources goes to zero until and unless you are not doing your dailies. So you see, because for every dailies that I cash in, like for example, this one, this Spelunker, I've completed it. So once I've 
I, I claim it so the milestones do uh, get affected you see okay so if I were to you know uh, claim this so I'll get more okay so you get a total of five milestones and all this will help you to grow you know closer to or help you to to, to play the game uh, you know with much more ease okay with lesser obstacles bottlenecks okay now the other thing that these dailies they do for you would be this okay this this loyalty badge okay why is it important is if you collect a certain quantum of it like 7 or 30 that kind of thing you then you'll be able to go to the gift tab okay and you go here okay 7 day loyalty chest 30 day loyalty chest I've not used any of mine so which means that I've been on SCFC for four months now that kind of thing so if you click on the contents they'll give you more items as well okay now I've not used mine because uh, there has been word going on saying that you know uh, that there is another additional item which could be included in this loyalty chest which would make it more attractive which are the you know which is the photon tokens okay so the photon tokens you get additional of it and then if you were to claim it and then you'll be able to claim the monthly one okay so apparently if not mistaken how it goes by is you get uh, you claim four of the seven days and then you get to claim one 30 day for free that kind of thing okay so which is actually quite good so i am hoping that scopely will implement this because uh if you look at 30 day loyalty chest it gives much more okay for those of you who are who have not been able to participate or compete well in the latinum rush event this is how you can get a divorce okay so yes you need a year worth of divorce then only <laughs> yeah you'll be able to you know get get one for free okay which is not bad okay some players you know yeah uh, play for free or free to play that kind of thing okay so yeah this is how you can get your devolve without spending any money and then on top of that you get resources okay which are not bad and recruit tokens as well okay so my take bottom line is this do your dailies okay if you cannot finish them all for example you know you, you have such a long list and if you are on triple faction you know if you have your federation your klingon your romulan they are all you know on the positive side you get so much more and yes if you have so much more to choose from i believe what matters would be this and it doesn't hurt to have extras as well now to add on to this i've just started working on my swam dailies as well now swam is something that i believe many people do not like because it's so mundane and boring but then i am hoping that with the swam dailies that i complete uh, where is it oh it's not here i think i've completed it oh no it is here okay so yes like this they give you more resources to build up your franklin and i hope that the franklin a upgrade free upgrade kind of thing will last like for a much longer time because i am working towards it now if you could see this uh where is it with under resources so franklin 2.0 blueprints if you were to scrap your max out you know franklin you get uh, the house and then with it you can use it to redeem a free uss franklin a it's supposed to be a much better ship okay now i've said it in the franklin a video that i'm not going to spend any money to on this okay and i'm going to stand by it okay even though my competitors will have gotten like this ship already i'm not giving in because i don't see the urgency in that and i don't see how i would need to spend money on one ship that does one job only and it is like so expensive okay so yeah so please do your dailies if you're not planning to do them all like i said earlier just do the milestones complete the milestones okay and it'll carry you much further into the game okay so yeah if you like this video smash on the like button if you'd like to hear more from me do consider subscribing to the channel as well and yeah i guess that's it see you in the next video see ya bye live long and prosper